may have gone too far and the acoustic riders may have a point. Now, here I have two standard bike pumps. I recently acquired this monster that barely fits in here. And this here is an e-pump. Now, I've been someone that is new to riding. I started riding my bike uh, as a commuter about a year ago, maybe two years ago, on a regular basis. But it wasn't when until I got hit by a car uh, about December or so, when I was crossing the road at a crosswalk, that my entire life changed and my capacity to be able to commute was changed. Now, the only way I've been able to be a commuter on my bike, where I use this device here, as my principal form of transportation, is because this bike is an e-bike. Now, I know you can't tell, but it's a pedal assist bike. And I've been going nuts with the e-stuff. I got all the lights on here, got the power, I charged this thing with solar panels. And then I was like, man, I need to get myself an electric pump. But let me back up a little bit, because as anyone knows that has ever been a commuter, you start finding out you have maintenance issues with your bike. Your brakes start doing funny things, and if you don't know how to maintain those, it's a big issue. The main thing that I started running into is that daily, these tires have to be maintained. You gotta have a constant pressure, especially when you're riding on these thin wheels. Me being someone that doesn't know anything about bicycle maintenance uh, on a regular basis, started volunteering for the Reno Bike Project, where I bought my acoustic transport bike, and also where I donated it to. And when I'm there, I'm able to learn a little bit of bike maintenance, a little bit of bike mechanics, and I get to build bikes for Burning Man. So if you are going to Burning Man, and you need an e-bike or a regular acoustic bike, head up the Reno, um, Reno Bike Project in order to be able to see if you can get yourself a sweet reused bike. Okay. Back to you. So when I first realized that my bike tires may be going a little bit flat, I pulled out my handy trusty mini bike pump I kept in my backpack. I went to go pump this baby up. And what I quickly realized is that this thing has different attachment than what I'm used to. This here is what they call a Schrader connect. And I needed something that was a little bit different that connected this weird situation here. And I quickly realized, first of all, I didn't even know how to pump this thing up. I put this thing on here a bunch of times, it didn't go up. I twisted this back here, that didn't help. And finally I figured out how to do it through some YouTube videos. So if you wanna know how, you know, but then I was like, well, this thing is great. Might as well get an E1. This weighs about three and a half grams. Perfect. But the problem is that, you know, getting your pressure right is a bit of a thing. I was never quite sure if I was doing it quite right. So I got one of these here by pumps. These things are funky. You press that. And I can get it to go on here. You got an electronic readout. You can change if it's going to a car, a moped, or a bike. It gets me the right air pressure. The problem is that this thing weighs four times as much. This is at uh, 395 kilograms. Not sure what that is to ounces, so don't, uh, don't, don't roast me. Oh, no! Oh, no! I can't go And, oh, hi. Okay. Oh, good, he's good. Sweet. Where am I? That's good. Perfect. Okay. This thing is super heavy and not really a practical thing um, when you weigh 130 pounds. Your e-bike weighs 30 pounds and you're about to take on something heavy when you're trying to commute to work, you know, 12 miles or so. So this is a bit of overkill when you can just put one of these there and get a charge this little dot. So who would this Amazon bike pump be for? Well, if you're an e-bike rider, and you have one of those fat tire bikes, or you have an e-mountain bike, or you have an e-bike with a throttle, this is for you. If you are like me, and you don't have any of those things, literally it's four pumps to get this thing to pressure overkill. Super useful to blow up your pump, your, um, your inflatable or anything else. Yeah, how's it going? But this doesn't do any worse. You get instant 
resistant checks on your tire pressure where with this thing here you won't get your tire pressure checked until you start it pumping up and then you find out that it's already at full pressure so that's what you what's the difference between using an e butt in e pump and a regular acoustic pump so uh, oh thanks i'm talking about how i went a little overkill with e-bike and then i got a, a an electric pump it is just it's overkill it is yeah, this is an electric bike. Okay. But then I was like, man, I don't know how to do this. I'm going to get like a different pump. Right. And this thing is overkill. It's huge. And it's just like it's like four pumps to get this oh, thing. Yeah. I hear what you're and saying. I'm like, okay, I'm silly. So I'm like, I got to make a video about this. Because I'm like, I spent $20 on this thing. Well, that's not too bad. No, but it's silly. But it's useful because I keep it at home. And I get, you know. USB-C charger. I can okay. char charge my car tires with it. Oh God. Um, yeah, that's you know, true. Right. Other, if you have like a, a bike with fatter tires, super useful. Like for mountain bikers. Yeah. But specifically e-mountain bike. I got a chance to ride those. Those perfect because they're, they're super powerful. It's like a thousand watt motors on those things. And right. You won't notice this thing. Where this you. thing here is a 250 watt motor, so it's uh, it barely helps. Where's the motor at? That's right. That's it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is it that whole bike? Did you buy it like that? Yeah, it's an, it's an e bike. So it's got this belt drive on it. Oh, yeah. So we don't have to do any maintenance on it. It's a good looking bike. Small little motor, disc brakes. The whole battery's in here. Okay. There's no throttle. This is everything. You have like five levels of pedal assist. And that's really it. So that's it's cool. a great commuter, but the problem is it's got these thin tires. And they're a little, you know, if you don't have your pressure right, you know. Yeah, I like got it's, you. It's a thing. So like, it's it's like too, too hard or yeah. like. like you you, well, you, you you end up running into these and you you start getting pinch issues. Okay. So like mountain bike, you know, they're fat and they're you know even if you hit something, you have so much space. This yeah, thing, that cushion. Huh? Where this is like if you hit something hard. Like, like coming into here. Okay. Right there. Oh yeah, that's right. That's how I, got my I have a road bike that with small yeah. tires like that. Yeah. yeah, and you just bam. Yeah, like, and you're like, yeah. oh, and you're looking at your tires afterwards. I'm like, this is why these are so thick. Right. Yeah. Because right. I was wondering why they were so much thicker than yeah. the old ones. So yeah. That's so. That, yeah, it's a nice bike. Man. No, I love Where'd it. Where'd you get this thing at? I got it on Facebook Marketplace for five hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah. Oh, very so cool. another guy was selling the new version of this for like six hundred, and I just was like, I can't legitimize another the same exact bike but yeah i get yeah, you but yeah you got disc brakes no it's fantastic this is my i don't drive my car okay right <laughs> yeah exactly yeah like, i don't know if you noticed it's just been sitting there i i have yeah, yeah i've seen so, that oh, yeah. okay like, that's how you're getting around it's an e-bike i mean it's i charge it on my solar panels okay i'm Ludmilla has not gotten mad at me 